I'm Rachel Ann and you're watching Official JD TV. For more videos like this, please subscribe down below. Hello and welcome, Official JD TV here. Thank you so much for tuning in. How are we all? I'm delighted today. I'm chatting to the very talented Rachel Ann. Hello. Freshly off the voice, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you so much for joining me. No worries at all. No thank worries. you. So, on The Voice, and today you've teamed up with another Voice member, yes. Dino, very talented. You're doing a one-off gig in Worthing and Evening With. How did this come about and how excited are you? Um, it kind of came about like, just after The Voice, after the knockouts, and we knew we just started talking. And he said that he'd like to do a gig with me, so yeah, it kind of just, just happened. And I'm really excited to perform tonight, yeah, it's yeah. really good. I can't wait, two fantastic voices, it's going to be a Thank really you. good night. So I guess we should start at the beginning of your voice journey at your blind audition. You sang In For The Kill. I did. It looked so tense. What was it like standing in front of them four judges? Um, it was a little bit nerve wracking, yeah, especially at the blind auditions. You don't really know what to expect. Yeah, it was a little bit crazy. Yeah. It was really fun. Well, I loved it and you got through, so congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Ricky turns, yes. then uh, followed by Will I Am. Yeah. You went with Ricky in the end. Why Ricky? Um, I honestly don't know, but I think maybe just what he said on the day kind of just swayed me towards him more, and nothing more than that, because I love them both as artists. It was just kind of on the day, that's who I felt I should go with. Did you have someone in mind? Um, no, not really. No? No. And it must be nice knowing that Will I Am likes your voice as well. Yeah, yeah, they really cool, yeah, yeah. So, um, what and who inspired you to sing? Um, I'm, I kind of, the music I listen to is completely different to what I sing, because I like, like, 70s stuff. That's what I listen to. Okay. Um, but inspired me to sing, I don't know. I just kind of always did. Just sing really the <laughs> No? Yeah. Okay, so moving on to your battle round performance. Yeah. Um, you looked very nervous and very intense, but you got through. What was going through your head at the battle round? Oh, the battle rounds, that was my, the most fun. I think yeah. That was so fun, yeah, because I made such good friends with Anya, and we were just having such a good time. So, no matter whether who went home or who went through, it was just such a fun experience that okay. we were both just really excited. To so, the battle round for me and the knockout round, there's so much pressure, and you've just got to nail it. I can't yeah. imagine what it's like stepping up on that stage in front of the four judges and the live audience, and also the cameras. It must be like really tough. For someone um, so yeah. young. Well, it's, I kind of just took it as an experience. I didn't really see it as like it wasn't a pressure to whether to get through or not. It was just I wanted to have fun and enjoy myself and enjoy the experience I was given. Okay. Yeah. So when did you start singing? When did it all happen? Um, I don't remember. When I was really little, um, I, I kind of I think it started on the piano. Like when my parents got me like a keyboard for Christmas or something. And, Kind of just happened. Okay, yeah. you started singing and playing, it just yeah, all yeah, just evolved. Came together. <laughs> so you've got as far as the knockout round. Mm -hmm. What has the voice done for you as an artist? It's definitely given me a lot of confidence and it's helped me um, with experiences because, like, obviously now I've performed, I know what it's like to perform on TV and yes. in front of like um, huge stars. So it's, it definitely gives you a lot of confidence and helps you with other gigs that you do and just how to progress as an artist, it definitely helps with that. Okay, that's brilliant. And uh, you went with Ricky. What was Ricky like as a coach and a person? He was really lovely, easy to talk to, and made you feel really comfortable all the time. It was really nice to work with him. Yeah, he's one of my favourite judges. He always has the winners and he always has the charm. And I think um, he really sort of embraces the artist who he chooses and mm. uh, pushes you as much as he can. Yeah. So is that right. sort of why you sort of persuaded with him? Um. Again, it's kind of just how I felt on the day, because I, I love all of them, so... Yeah, yeah. tough choice, tough choice. Definitely. So, um, Kevin Sims, we crowned him, 2016 yeah. winner. Delighted for him, you must be yeah, really happy awesome. for him. He's awesome, he's so lovely, and he really definitely deserves it, so yeah. really, I was really happy when he won. From his blind audition, when he sang uh, Sia, I just thought, what a voice, and just... Yeah, he's just going to go far in the competition. Yeah. I really liked him. So, what advice would you give someone who's thinking about auditioning for a talent show like The Voice? Do it. Yeah? Do it, definitely. Just do it. It's so much fun. It's a great experience. And you meet amazing people. I've made friends for life from it. So, yeah, definitely do it. 100%. So, The Voice is over. What is next for Rachel Ann? What is next? I'm, I'm writing an album. Okay. And I'm just performing as much as possible, trying to see as mm. much of the country as possible performing wherever I can yeah. and just doing as much, as much as I can with the experiences I've had. So if there's a stage, you're on it? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. So what kind of music are you listening to at the moment? Uh, I like like 70s rock. 
Yeah. So that's what I listen to on a daily basis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Blind Melon are my favourite band. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. I'm not familiar with them, I have to be honest. I don't think many but I'll go and check them really out. Cool. They're really cool, you should, definitely. So, um, in 2015, you mm -hmm. won Teen Star. I did. Firstly, congratulations. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit, a little bit about Teen Star? So, Teen Star is um, a nationwide, I think that's the word for it, um, competition in the UK. Um, and it's run by a company called Future Music. Okay. And they just, they, they also do open mic and they do like, I think it's British Pop Variety. Um, and other show, another competitions like that, and it's well, teens have a singing competition for teens. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then you just go and do different rounds, and then. Was it a lot of fun? Yeah, it was great fun. It was amazing. I loved yeah. it. Brilliant. Yeah. And finally, where can people find you and check out your music? Um, my Twitter and Instagram is Rachel underscore Anne Music, and my Facebook page is just Rachel Anne. Brilliant, they'll all yeah. be in the uh, description box below. Please go and check out Rachel Langer, she is so talented. But it's been lovely talking to you lovely today. Lovely, sweetie, I really hope you enjoy the game. I will, I can't wait. And thank you so much for uh, tuning in. It's been fantastic. Well, I've been with the Rachel Land. Remember, for more videos like this, please subscribe down below. And remember, go and check out Rachel Langer, she is really talented, freshly off the voice, and just go and check her out. Well, that's it, I'll let you go and get off. Thanks, yeah. Your bigger concept tonight with Dino. Yeah. We've had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thank you.